quite the diary. I bought a house. Well, but it was formerly a facility. It's much too big for me. I can see myself getting lost easily. I'm indebted to Cliff once again. I should really thank him later. Today, I met a girl. A few days ago. She was from near a house that burned down and seems to be the daughter. She insists there's someone other than her. She seems to have another personality. So I gave her double the furniture and such. I wasn't sure what to do. But at any rate, I found a research subject this way, which is now in my care. No symptoms at the moment. I am the second girl. I received a letter three days ago that had all the particulars. Perhaps because of that she has been through. She is much less cheery. She is reluctant to talk with me. She enjoyed talking with other girls, albeit not for very long. It may be slow, but I try to get her talking with me. No symptoms at the moment. The third, I met a boy. I was surprised, but given his mother, I decided to take him in. He talks plenty, but he is illogical. He was a little awkward with the two girls, but they're playing together a few days later. Today, he kept putting frogs on my head. He's a bit too mischievous. No symptoms at the moment. I met the fourth, a girl. She walked from a town in the woods. I talked with her, and she told me about a new mysterious illness. Eventually, it wiped out her town. Did she have a resistance to it? I'm a little interested, but it's unrelated. She doesn't want to talk about it much. It's hard to talk with her. She doesn't talk with other girls. She's playing piano in the room. No symptoms at the moment. All the children have the potential to break out, but still no symptoms. But are there even symptoms? How did it go back then? I'm getting a headache. I'll stop for now. A few pages are ripped out. I met a fifth child. He was outside when the incident happened. He says the shock caused memory loss. At a glance, I was surprised. It's just a hunch, but they must be on the verge. I'll watch him very carefully. Two seasons have passed since then. What have I been doing? I feel like my chest is burning. I see the scene in my mind again. This must mean... Yes, very soon. It must be over soon. My head hurts. I'm sorry, Fiona. There's a scrap of paper in the back. I'll take a notebook scrap. When I came to, it was my usual world. She is still sleeping today. I warned lots of people, but I was never warned. Why is that? Uh, should I have been warned more? But there's no bad people left. There's only good people around me. The cat says only bad people can warm. Which is right, I don't know. I don't know a thing. I just keep trying to warn people so I can be warned. Oh, the door is unlocked. Before I leave, there may be something more interesting here. You never know. You never know, okay? <gasps> I found a small notebook. But, read. Victims of nightmare syndrome continue to increase. I'm glad they found some good food, but they're up to something in the world. To drag people into the world. Parents suddenly being violent to children. Abandoning them. Forsaking them. It must be the rabbit's power. The cat must be up to something too. What did he tell me back then? I only took one thing from you. Was it really only one? Can a person be so easily ruined by having one thing taken? Is the cat lying? I don't have a clue. There's no time. Time. No time. No time. The door. What? Hmm. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I'm done here. Let's go. Okay. Wait. Wait, I can't check. What? I can't check out the bookshelves here. What the hell? 
Oh, teacher. Alan. If you're here, then... No. The cat can't be trusted. You really are proficient at breaking promises. It's quite troubling. That key. It looks sharp. You got the teacher with you. Right away. Now! What? Why should I? Very well. This might hurt a little. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> it doesn't even hurt. Now it can end. This awful dream. Yes, this is the end. Will you hear my story? This is my first time in the world. I've been here before. Nightmare Syndrome. As an avid reader, I'm sure you've heard of it at least once. It's a disease that keeps one from waking and takes their soul. The cause is said to be unknown, but I believe it emerges in children whose hopes are in darkness. Have you noticed? I took in hurt children with nowhere to go, help them, and let them live with me. But secretly, I absurdly studied them as children who could acquire the sickness. I must have upset you. I'm sorry. I want to destroy this world and these dreams, whatever it takes. I lost someone important to me right before my eyes in this world. Ever since then, I've thought of nothing else. It was my selfishness. So, when you arrived, I was very surprised. Maybe because you remind me of myself from back then. If I made you unhappy, I thought you'd acquire it, but I couldn't do that. Soon, my door opened. I should have come alone. The rest of you were taken in as well, and the entrance grew bigger as a result. I tried various things, but nothing worked. Alan, though you opened the door, you did nothing wrong. It's all my fault. There, 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 there. There, there. It's okay. This is my dream. My world. I made too much weakness before I knew it. I was drowning in more than I could manage. So I had to end it. For her. As well. I'm not very smart. She often told me so. I researched long. But I guess it was all for naught. Take this. A locket. I couldn't give you what you wanted most. Because I was never given it. I don't even know what it's like. I'm sorry. If you have nothing, then you should make something. We are wonderful friends all around you. Just take it slow. You're smart, Alan. So you'll be fine. Right. I'm an adult. Allegedly. So they won't eat me. I'll figure something out. There's a number for a man named Cliff on my desk. Say my name, and he'll come help me. He's my one and only friend. He's very kind. You'll be fine. Please, forget about me. Then no one will have to come here again. Good night, Alan. Why wasn't I warmed? I thought I would be warm then, but I simply wasn't able to warm, because I didn't know how to warm. What will I do now? I've lost everything. I have nothing. Oh, I'm so sleepy. Warm me. Someone, please, warm me. Wait, what? What's going on? What's going on? Everyone? Guys? What's going on? What's happening? Wait, 
What? What? What's going on? Where's teacher? Wait. Wait a minute, can I? Teacher's locket pendant. Okay, now what? Okay, I don't know what to do now. Teacher, where are you? Oh dear. What the freaking hell have I done? I don't really get what's going on here. No response. Leave him be. Okay. Wait. Wait, teacher is there. A diary. Read it. Wait, what? What? Oh! All kinds of contact info is written here. There's a number for a man named Cliff. Cliff? Huh. Basic controls? Nope. Okay, I need... Wait, a picture and a note from the teacher's locket. It's the boy from earlier, and the girl who resembles him. And his note. I'm in beverage, but not in rink. I'm in separate, but not in park. I'm in seven, but not in scene. What? What? Wait. Wait a minute. Hmm... Wait a minute... I'm in drizzle, but not in ram. I'm in car, but not in automobile. What?! I don't... I don't get it. I'm in beverage, but not in drink. Drink? I'm in separate, but not in... Apart. I'm in seven, but not in scene. Se Wait, v, v. Wait a minute. D A V. I'm in drizzle, but not in ran. David. It's David, right? David Is that your name? Was that right? Oh, wait, that was wrong What? I think his name is David oh. Okay D A V I'm in drizzle, but not in ran. I don't really understand that. I ran. Mm. I may be wrong here. But I think it's David. But I'm not sure about these two here. I'm in car, but not in automobile. Like, what the hell? What do I do now? Hmm. I return to my own world. Fiona stabbed herself with a knife. Was it Fiona who had that dream? Then I must be dreaming too. No, I don't want to lose her. To sacrifice her. Fiona! She's still sleeping. The demon will eat her soul. There's not much time left. With all my teachers given me, I can go to school now. I'm rather reluctant too. I got involved with one particularly annoying person. His name is Cliff. I don't want anything to do with him. I pray he can let me have some peace. That evening, Fiona's soul was lost. I wasn't in time. Now, what am I doing to, doing to do? I played with Cliff again today. He told me some interesting things. I was wondering how it would go when he dragged me out. He's a good person, very... So... Teacher is retiring tomorrow. Seems she's having a child. I'm going overseas. I'm anxious, but Cliff will be with me, so I should be fine. Apparently, my novel won a big prize. Cliff submitted it somewhere. I got in a little fight with him over it. I told him if it were going to be popular, 
I abuse his name. I went to my room. I don't have any interest in that. I've been having the same dream lately. A dream of that day. Is she angry? Or is she suffering? I have to destroy that dream quickly. There might be another like her. Or like me. Just what is warm? Maybe I do know. I suppose first. I'll repair our friendship. How many years has it been since I said I'm sorry? Good morning, teacher. Look, another one came today. Huh, we're going to run out of places to put them. Well, that is the same as ever, always eager to play. Shells is slowly starting to talk to others. She's very good at cooking as well. Joshua told me he found so many likes. Stella looks as weary as ever, but she seems to be having fun. Mr. Cliff and the others who look after us are all very nice people. There's no way we could forget. We'll always think of you as our teacher. Because you destroyed the dream and saved us. We'll never, ever forget. There's a very low chance of success. But we're looking for a way. Until then, we'll keep sending it. We'll send what you said we didn't know. Until then, good night. Teacher. <laughs>